What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. All right, today we're gonna to talk about how to get your black belt in five years. Actually, I'm gonna to explain to you guys how it would have been five years for me, but due to uh, the pandemic, obviously, um, that uh, that set me back. That set me back a long time. I actually did the math on it with you guys, for you guys, I mean, and it took me essentially, set me back four years and three months. Okay, so let me share with you guys something because a lot of the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of guys are like, oh, there's no way you could get a black belt in five years. You know, it takes like 10 years. I mean, no, not true, man. Not true. Like, I, I don't know if I did it fast or if it's normal to me. I find it's a normal progression if you're consistent with it. OK. And of course, it depends a little bit on um, your, your, your ability. OK. And a little bit on the coach as well, like how he looks at it and how he judges you, how he evaluates you, right? In terms of the techniques that you need to know for each belt, because it's more codified judo than, for example, BJJ. Because in BJJ, it's really up to, like, you have to actually be good, like, to fight. Whereas in judo, it's not it's not about fighting all that much for to get your dance. Yes, there's an element of that, but it's not 100% that. So once you get your black belt, it doesn't mean that you could you're you're super good at fighting in judo, right? It means you have the basics covered, right? So you know the names of the technique, you understand judo, you understand kazushi, you're able to execute the techniques, you know how to do randori, et cetera, et cetera. So I mean, it's that's why there's and black belts, you know, there's black belts and then there's black belts and there's levels to the game. Right. But black belt is a starting point in judo, as opposed to in BJJ, where it's more of a destination. OK, so let's let me share the screen with you guys here. I want to show you. Do, 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 do. Give me one second. All right. All right. You guys seeing this? I'm sure you are because I am. I found this. This is my judo passport. The first judo passport that I had. It's a judo Quebec passport. So let me show you guys right here. This little uh, passport thing here. And, you know, inside, well, you know, there's a whole bunch of things that your, uh, your technical director at your club, head coach, fills in. And he has to report this, by the way, to, to the judo federation. Every time he upgrades your belt, he promotes your belt, he has to call the federation and actually tell them, hey, I promoted... Uh, this student to this uh, this level at this date. Done. Okay. So this is in French, guys. And you see here, I started in 2016. So in 2016, up until 2000, uh, 20, 2019. Sorry. So I'm not going to let you guys do the math on this because I've done it for you. But essentially, right here, you know, Blanche, this is in French. So Blanche means white. For those of you guys who don't know, and that took me two months. You see here, like three, see month three to month five, two months, right? And then from yellow, this is yellow, jaune to orange. So yellow to orange, it took me five months. And then from here, from orange to green, it took me eight months. And then from green to blue, it took me nine months. And then from blue to brown, it took me 11 months. So all of this here that you guys see actually took me 35 months. Okay, so we're talking one month shy of three years. So let's just round off the numbers. Three years. Three years to get me from white belt to brown belt. Right? Then after that, boom. Boom. Four and a half years late, four years later, four years and three months later, that's when I got my uh, my my black belt finally. So we're talking a total of seven years and two months to get the, the black belt. Now, just so that you guys, I want you guys to understand something. Now, when I got my brown belt, okay. That was three years. So starting from there, you actually have to have your brown belt, at least here in, in Canada, in Quebec. You have to have your brown belt for one year before you can actually pass the exam. So during, and your points only start at brown belt. 
So all the competitions that you did before, nothing. <laughs> so you need, when I was doing it, I think it was 120 or 110, but they changed it now. So they, they slacked it a bit. So now it's 100 points that you need. But I had to accumulate. So you need to be brown belt for one year. And during that time, you have to accumulate 120 points. And then you're eligible for the exam. So that means that at, let's say, at three years, I'm at brown belt. And then from there, it would have took me, I would have needed one more year. So that would have been four, right? Four years. And during that time, I would have competed to get my points. And then after that, I would have had to prep for my uh, for my black belt exam. So I got to learn all the names of the techniques and the kata and all that, right? And that takes time. It's not, it's not like this, man. Unless you've been practicing it the whole time, but most people don't. Most people are like, okay, I got all my points now. I'm a brown belt. It's been a one year. Okay, now I'm going to go for it. So guess what? Now we're going to, uh, you know, do the kata and learn all the names of the techniques and learn how to do it, um, you know, the way that they want to see it, right? The, the, the way that the, the judges want us to demonstrate the techniques. And that's fine, but it takes time. So it takes anywhere. It takes at least three months, man, at least three months of, of, of solid, consistent practice, like two, three times a week, right? So... Of course, the lockdown happened, the pandemic and all that. So that's why it got delayed uh, for about four years and, you know, three months. But in that four years and three months, guys, there was about a year and a half of bad luck for me with my my partners. Uh, so I went through, I think about, I went through two partners, essentially. The first one I practiced with for a couple of months and then... He wasn't serious. He was there. He wasn't there. So I just said, hey, you know what? Let's uh, never mind. Let's just go our own way. And then I found a, a great uh, a great partner. But then so we practiced together for six months. And then uh, well, when it was time for the exam, he got sick. He got COVID. So he and he was really out. He was really out. So he couldn't make it. So I had to wait another six months until the next exam. So that's why it stretched out. So in that four years and three months, there's a year and a half there that that uh, that just kept on going and going. Anyways, so that's why I'm saying it's very possible. I would have got if it wasn't for the the pandemic, right? <clears throat> I would have gotten it in five years. I, in in three years, I was already brown belt. Okay. Now I want to share with you guys something else <clears throat> and for people who say it's 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 too fast no it's not and i'm going to give you guys a couple of reasons <clears throat> now it's going to be different from person to person of course if you're naturally athletic it's going to help and naturally it's not really naturally it's more because me as a kid growing up i played a lot of sports so i already had a basis a solid foundation of 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 athleticism, of um, proprioception, motor pattern, whatever. Like I can, I was very in tune with my body because I played a lot of sports as a kid and I practiced some martial arts as well when I was a kid. And then prior to judo, I, I did six years of BJJ, right? And now it doesn't really mean anything, but my first BJJ coach actually had a little bit of judo. He knew a little bit of judo and he taught me how to break fall. And he taught me that so well that I, I became really good at break fall. Mind you, there was some details missing here and there, but overall, like I was really, I, I was solid. I could get thrown and I wasn't being, I wasn't afraid of being thrown. So that definitely helped, uh, you know, like climbing up the ranks uh, a lot faster. Um, also, I was training two times a week when I started judo and I was very consistent with it. <laughs> Just two times a week, guys, two times a week. That's it, right? And those were two hard sessions, man, two hard sessions. It was a competition class, and then there was a regular class. But, I mean, it was still pretty tough. We did Randori at the end uh, as well. Now, was this fast? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, think of it. Two months, five months, eight months, nine months, and 11 months. You know, like from belt to belt to get to, to brown belt. So, like three years in total. So I guess it could be considered fast. Me, I didn't, um, I didn't feel it all that fast, you know, because it, it was a lot of ups and downs too um, in judo. You know, like like any like anything, 
right? So I, I don't feel it was fast, but a lot of people tell me it was fast. And hey, if it is what it is. But let me show you guys something else. Now, in judo, you guys have to understand that, once again, it depends on you as the athlete, how consistent you are, how good you are, okay? And then it's going to depend on your coaches to a certain degree. It's not just arbitrary. Like the coach does have to follow um, a system. It's a code. So let me, I mean, codified. Let me show to you guys what I mean. Okay, let me share this here. Boom, boom, boom. All right, where are you, my friend? Okay, so this is from um, Judo Canada. You guys seen this? All right. Boom, boom, boom. Oops, I have to go into the other page to, so that you actually, so I could scroll up and down. All right, guys. So the belts. National kill grading syllabus, blah, 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 a whole bunch of stuff, right? So they're showing you the belts here. See white, uh, so it's called cues. Cues are essentially uh, levels, right? So they start with six. That's like, uh, it's kind of in a reverse order. So six, five, orange, four, green, three, blue, uh, blue is uh, second cue, two, and then brown is first cue, then it's first that, and then you count in, in, in ascending order. So let me show you guys what this is all about. Okay, 6Q. 6Q is white belt. This is the list of stuff that you have to know. So there's the, all these nagewaza techniques. Nagewaza is throwing techniques. Ukemi, um, I think that means falling technique. <laughs> I should know this, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, there's some principles here that you have to understand. Uh, yeah, these are Ukemi. It's, it's break falling, right? So I'm not sure. Yoko is side, obviously, and I actually don't know the, these terms. But anyways, you have to know these. And then you have your Niwaza techniques. Kisakatame, Yokushio, uh, escape from Kisakatame, blah, blah, blah. And then some other skills that you need to know, right? Right here. And that's once you know these skills, essentially, boom, you're good to get your yellow belt, you see, this is white belt. So as a white belt, look at all the stuff that you need to learn. That's it. So once you, so, you know, it takes a little bit of time, of course, and, and you have to under, you have to know the names. You have to be able, you have to know these techniques. Like when they call them out, you have to know exactly what we're talking about and you have to be able to execute them as well. And then your execution has to be to the level uh, that's considered um, suitable, okay, for your level. Right, like you were not expecting a, a white belt to to throw uki uh, ipon uh, onage the same as at the same technical level as a black belt, you know. But it has to be in the right direction, and it some there's certain elements that has to be there. Okay, so from there, now we're on to yellow belt. So as a yellow belt, to get to the next. Uh, grade, which is orange belt, you got to learn all this. Here's the list of the Nagiwaza you have to learn. Here's the Ukemi, who's your Niwaza, and then other skills. And voila, once you learn, learn that and you're good, proficient, and you, your coach and your trainers and all that, they're like, okay, he knows all this. It's all good. Boom, they evaluate you or they just give you a belt. But basically, that's this is kind of a guide. This is what they have to follow. Boom. Now, your orange belt, orange belt, you got to learn all this, all these techniques here, Nagiwaza, uh, Newaza, uh, and other skills here. And trust me, guys, this goes so fast. It's fun. It's really fun. Okay. And blah, blah, blah. Boom. You pass your exam. Now, here you go. Uh, so I'm not going to, you know, continue explaining the whole thing because I think that um, you guys probably got the point by now. So green belt, you learn all these techniques. And then voila, now you're blue. Blue, you learn all these techniques. And then voila, you're brown. And brown, once you learn all these techniques, well, guess what? You got to learn. You got to go here. Requirements for the first down grade. <laughs> okay, so that's how it goes. Now, let me just uh, stop the screen share here. Uh, da, 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 da. So you see, guys, that's the, the general... That's the gist of it. So black belt, oops, sorry, black belt, 
sorry, cameras like in the reverse mirror direction, whatever thing. So black belt, it is possible that you get it in five years. Judo is codified. It's codified. You don't have to be excellent, you know, to, uh, to get your belts like that. You know, you, yes, you have to be able to, you have to know what they are. You have to be able to execute them to a, a degree that's acceptable, you know, to your coach and your coach should know what's acceptable, know what to look for. And, you know, he might, his standards might be a little bit higher might be a little bit lower depending, but the main elements have to be there for the throw. And, and like, honestly, if you do the technique and it works, it means chances are it, it's good enough unless, um, well, some people muscle techniques and all that. And it, it, it's, it has, well, it has to be done the way it's supposed to be done. And it doesn't have to be perfect and look amazing and all that, but it has to work as well, if that makes sense. But we'll, uh, I'll think about a video and talk to you guys about that. That's it for this video, guys. I'm not gonna make this longer than, uh, than necessary because I do tend to, to ramble and to go off tangents. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is a long progression? I mean, that, that this is something like that three years, five years is a long time or an unheard of, so to speak. Because some people like kind of telling me that I get more people telling me that this is too fast. Like, no, it's not doable. You need eight years or 10 years. Or, but no, you don't. Not in judo. Not in judo. OK, if you're if you're training consistently and you're at a gym that follows this structure, more or less, you're not going to get, uh, it's not going to take you 10 years to get a black belt. Now, once you get your black belt, that's when, you know, your, your real judo training begins. Because now you have the alphabets, the A, Bs, and Cs. You know how to string sentences together. Now you could start writing your own poetry. And now you're able to express yourself. Because before that, I mean, you're just learning how to how to read and write and you know communicate essentially right so once you get all of that and it's not to say that you, you're not going to be able to throw dudes until you get the black belt that's not true it, it doesn't mean that you get the black belt and you can't do anything it doesn't mean that at all okay i mean it's not I, I know there's a lot of that in traditional martial arts where when you get the black belt that's when they teach you how to fight right and they do that for certain reasons i imagine I don't know, but I mean, it's not like that in judo. Like people, like you'll, you'll be throwing people before you get to black belt because there's there's randori. <laughs> All right, guys, so what do you think? Write it down below and let me know if you guys, what your experience is. Did it take you longer? Did it take you the same amount of time? Have you seen people do it faster? I mean, it's it's possible, you know, like you come in and you're, you're, you're just surrounded by, um, you know, great training partners, great coaches. You're gifted. You train more than two times. A week. This is at two times a week, guys. And I, I started judo at 36. I'm 44 right now. So let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Where's the stop button? Give me a second. Stop recording.